hello guys and welcome to today's tutorial video where i'm going to demonstrate to you on how to process a bad debt on sage pastel accounting we're going to utilize this tutorial question it says on the 28th of february 2018 it came to your attention that albert limited went insolvent and his estate will only be able to pay 40 cents for every one rent that is still outstanding from this customer so the required says process the above in the records of software sales so in the layer of that i'm just going to hover back into sage pastel so as you can see the open company right here is software sales and this is where we are required to process that bad debt and if you can see on the screen open is the customer's information and the first customer on the list is albot limited and his balance is standing at 8528.46 that is right there so in terms of the tutorial question this person will only be able to pay us 40 cents for every one rent that is still outstanding that equates to 40 percent of this particular amount so what you're going to need to do now is that you need to work out the amount that will be written off as per debt and the amount that will that this customer will be able to pay us so what you're going to do is that you need to go to utility and open calculator and then once the calculator opens you now need to calculate 40 percent of this particular amount that is eight thousand five two eight so let's go ahead and do that eight five two eight point four six and then i'm just going to multiply it by forty percent and that is going to give me three thousand four hundred and eleven point three eight so in this case this amount right here is the amount that will be written off as bad debt so now after working out the amount that will be written off as bad debt you now need to go to process tab and go to journals once you get to journals you now need to go to customers so i'll click on customers and then when i get to customers remember um you will go to customers if you have a specific customer given to you but if the information was too vague to say uh the amount of bed that's written off was this and they did not give you the specific customer account you will record that under general journal so in this case they told us that it's albert limited that went insolvent and therefore as a result you will need to go to sales credits in order to process that bad debt and then you will make sure that the period is in the correct period and the date is well set up so when i go back to my tutorial question you can see that it came to your attention on the 28th of february so the date is well set up on the 28th of february 2018 and then when you get to accounts you need to select the relevant account and that is albot limited for this tutorial video 
and the reference you can see that it said uh, deb 001 so we're just going to leave it at that and then our description will be bad debt and then we're just going to leave it at that and now when you get to text you need to select the relevant text that went that followed the initial recognition of the sale but as you can see from the list of taxes we do have bad debts uh, taxation so we're just going to select bad debts and then we're just going to move forward when we get to inclusive we need to insert the amount that will be recognized as a bad debt or that will be written off so i'm just going to go back to my calculator and you can see that the amount is 3411.38 and then i'm just going to insert it there 3411.38 and then when you get to this column where it has the letter d and c you need to leave it at c because we are now crediting this particular customer and then you're just going to move forward when you get to contra account you need to select bad debt now you need to allocate that to bad debts so there we have bad debts you're just going to select it and click on enter and then i'm just going to move to the next line to update that so on this screen now it says do you need to automate that bad debt to a, a specific transaction so no we don't want to allocate that i'm just going to click on close and leave it as unmatched so now the last you need to go to the update tab and update this general batch and then now i'm just going to close these journals and go back to my explorer when i get to explorer i'm going to go to customers and look at the balance so you can see that the balance jumped from eight thousand to five thousand that is the amount that this particular customer will be able to pay us and when i get to general ledger i'm just going to look at our bad debts now it changed from zero amounts to that particular amount so that marks the end of today's tutorial video if you haven't subscribed to the channel you can just go ahead and do that so that you'll receive more beneficial videos such as this one in the future thanks for watching a like would be appreciated and don't forget to subscribe